Well, we've reached the conclusion of our evening together. We're going to want to invite uh, one of our graduates, a 2005 graduate, Marlon Granger, um, who is uh, personally, I know he's deeply invested. He supports two different staff members here in this room. And uh, just really appreciate uh, the, 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 the partnership of our alumni who, who are launched out of the ministry and continue to walk alongside us. Hope that was okay. I didn't steal your treasure in heaven, Marlon, I promise. Um, um, Marlon's going to come up and uh, close our evening together in prayer and ask the Lord for blessing upon uh, what's he, what he's done here this evening. Marlon? <laughs> Well, good evening, everyone. Uh, it, it, it's been uh, an honor just to be uh, among you tonight. Um, I'm glad I could be here with my wife, Ronnie. She's, she's accompanying me tonight. And uh, to see what the, the Lord has done with the school has been nothing short of amazing. And uh, it's good to see so many familiar faces. And I know that under the, the leadership and through the constant transitions of the school, uh, that God still has great things in store for this school and for everyone who's come through, like myself, and then others who are here presently and those who uh, are yet to come. Um, I'm, I'm excited for those who will enter into uh, this setting and learn just like I did and benefit greatly uh, as my family has. Uh, my wife, for one, knows the, the power of not only the gospel, but of what the Lord has done, not only in my life, but also in our marriage and in our home and in the lives of our children. And so um, I'm glad to say that um, I was part of this school, and I'm glad to say that I'm, I'm still a partner in ministry in that sense with uh, some of the staff here. And relationships are one of the key things here, if not the key thing not only to the Lord, but with, with each other. That was what um, changed me dramatically. Uh, staff members like Helen was here. She's the one who brought, brought me in. She, she didn't give up on me. She pursued me, and there she is. <laughs> Martha was here, Clint Ross, Eric Scott, who was here tonight, who was one of my mentors, um, Daniel. Uh, a, a dear brother to me who welcomed me on my first day and we're from the same area. He's, he's like 20 minutes from where I come from. Uh, I live in Tuba City and, and so Daniel was one of those key, key brothers who just really took me in, showed me around and uh, showed me the ropes but he didn't leave me there. He, he helped me along through the whole process and though uh, he's younger uh, in years uh, as a Christian brother. Um, he, he really was one who, who helped me along in, in becoming uh, the man who Christ wanted me to be. Uh, I think he saw the potential in me uh, that um, he sees currently in, in what he's doing with the young men within the school. And so I have many people to thank in this, in, in this setting. Some, have, uh, some aren't there anymore, but um, I, I thank the Lord for everyone who uh, he brought into my life at key moments. And it's been uh, 12 years since um, I've been at the school, but I've kept in contact. Jason uh, has been... Um, just a, a key person in keeping in touch with what's going on at the school, checks on me still, <laughs> and uh, keeps me in line. <laughs> but uh, yes, uh, it, to see what the Lord has done from it, its beginning stages to what it is now, um, it's, it, it, it's truly an honor to, to be a, a, a product of this. Um, you know, and if... if uh, the Lord can do what He's done in each of our lives. You know, we, we can continue to trust Him to do this. And for the songs that we sang regarding His faithfulness and His love, you know, that's, what, that's truly what changes our hearts. Um, when He opens our eyes to see who He is and to know and to experience the love that He has for us in His Son uh, is, is really what really touches our hearts and, and you know to hear the stories from the students themselves to, to know that uh, these these 
staff members who are brothers and sisters in Christ truly have the love of Christ in their hearts and it's instilled in them and it, it's, it's a part of not only who they are but it's a part of everything that they do that makes all the difference so for those of you who are considering um, taking part in this through uh, prayer through financial gifts and just support coming by the school um, finding out really what's what's going on there will be uh, a great encouragement to everyone who is there and so it's one of the one of the neat things about the the four current things that they're doing is the extension courses I've had the privilege of being part of that and so uh, it's great to see that it is on my reservation in my in my hometown and that it can that work continues that the work not only isn't only here it's reaching out it's going where the light is where the where the light is dim where in, in where I live it, it seems there was a darkness there but through people the light gets brighter through us that light really shines brighter and so I encourage you join join in the work if you're if you're not there yet but you know if, if you are already a part of this and I think I think that is the case for many here continue continue to be here tonight just reminds me of um, wow really how great the Lord is and how um, he doesn't leave us to ourselves I'm, I'm, I'm really just in awe I'm, as I sat here um, uh, you know I, I, I could uh, um, there were moments where I, I was overcome, I was overwhelmed with, with just, just how, how wonderful the Lord is. But with that said, um, let me pray in closing. And I want to thank you for coming tonight and, and also having me here, Jason. Thank you. But gracious Father, I thank you for this wonderful opportunity to be among your people, to see and to hear and to witness how faithful you have been through these generations. And, to know, God, your great love for us, even here as a, a, a native peoples to this land. I thank you for giving your love to the, to the staff and to everyone who's come through with this message that comes from your heart. I thank you, God, that you have brought your light and your love to a dark place. And God, you, you came to us where we were. And I thank you for that. I just ask that you would in every person here, fan into flame the gift that you have given to each person. I thank you so much for the faithfulness of, of those who, who, whose hearts you touched so long ago, Lord, to, to start this school and to, this desire to train uh, Native leaders. And God, um, I just pray that you would continue to, to strengthen that work, to, to strengthen the hands that may be weak now, to increase the faith of those who continue the work with uh, little support and maybe little encouragement. And Father, I pray that you would continue to raise up your people to do your work. I thank you so much for your faithfulness to each of us here. And I ask your blessing on our lives, our hearts, Lord, our homes, our families, our children. And I pray, Lord, that your word would continue to go out and accomplish that purpose that you have for it. I thank you that you have called us to be your own God, that we can call you our God and our Father. And Lord, I thank you so much for sending your Son into this world to die on the cross for our sins, that we might be made right with you, that God, we could know the hope and peace that you have for every person who believes. And Father, I just ask that you would let us walk away reminded of your grace and mercy and God, that we would stand in this, that you would enable us, God, to share this message of hope and light with everyone who you bring into our path. And God, increase our love for others. And Father, open our eyes to the opportunities, to the people who are all around us. And may you let us be a wise people, God, who walks in your ways. I ask, Father, that you would touch every heart here and help us to join in your work. And Lord, where we've
turned away, maybe we've just gotten tired, I ask that you would help to renew that hope within us, that you would let that light burn bright within us, so that, Father, we can let others know who don't have this hope, who don't have the same kind of assurance that we do, that, Lord, your name would be made known among the nations, among our families. And, Lord, I just pray that in our communities, that you would allow your word to go there, that you would raise up your people, and that you would help us, God, in this work. We can't do it without you, Father. We are a broken people, and help us to own, own that, Lord, to not be ashamed of that, that you have called us, Lord, you have made us your own. And, Father, you, you have taken the foolish things of this world, which we are, and, God, you have confounded the wisdom of the wise. Lord, I just pray that in all of this, in each of our lives, God, that you would receive the honor and the glory that is yours alone. I pray this in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.